We've just gotten a report uh, from the telecom here in Mission Control that uh, LEM systems look good after that landing. Uh, we're about 26 minutes now from loss of signal uh, from the command module. Tranquility Base, Houston. Uh, all your consumables are solid. You're looking good in every respect. Uh, we copy the dips of uh, inning. Everything is uh, copacetic. Over. Thank you, Houston. Houston, uh, the guys that bet that uh, we wouldn't be able to tell precisely where we are are the winners today. Uh, we were a little uh, busy worrying about program alarms and things like that in the part of the descent where uh, we would normally be uh, picking out our landing spot. And uh, aside from a good look at uh, several of the craters we came over, in the final descent, uh, I haven't been able to pick out the things on the horizon uh, as a reference as yet. Right, tranquility, uh, no sweat. Uh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Over. Uh, you might be interested to know that uh, I, I don't think we notice any difficulty at all in adapting to 1.6G. Uh, it seems uh, uh, immediately natural to move in uh, in this environment. Rugged tranquility, we copy, over. Neil Armstrong reporting there, no difficulty adapting to the one-sixth gravity of the moon. window is a relatively level plane cratered with uh, a fairly large number of uh, uh, craters of the, of the uh, 5 to 50 foot variety and uh, some ridges, uh, small 20, 30 feet high I would guess, and uh, literally thousands of little 1 and 2 foot uh, craters around the area. We see some uh, angular blocks out uh, several hundred feet in front of us that are probably uh, two feet uh, in size and have uh, angular edges. Uh, there is a hill in view uh, just about uh, on the ground track uh, ahead of us. Difficult to estimate, but might be uh, a half a mile or uh, a mile. Roger, tra Tranquility, we copy, over. Sounds like it looks a lot better uh, than it did yesterday at that very low sun angle. It looked rough as a car, Ben. Well, it really was rough, Mike, uh, over the, uh, the targeted landing area. It was 
uh, extremely rough, cratered in uh, large numbers of rocks that were probably some uh, many larger than five or ten feet in size. When in doubt, land long. So we did. Houston, after you get through this T-57, we'd like to an e-memory dump, over. Roger, after uh, this first T-57, you want an e-memory dump. That's affirmative. Columbia, Houston, we have a P-22 update for you if you're ready to copy, over. At your service, sir. Roger, Mike. P1-104-32-1. T2-104-37-1. And that is four miles south. This is based on a targeted uh, landing site, over. Roger, understand, based on a targeted landing site, uh, T1-104-3218, T2-104-3727, T2-104-3727, and uh, four miles south. Roger. Do you have any idea whether they landed left or right of center line, just, just a little bit long, is that all we know? Apparently that's about all we can tell, over. Okay, thank you. Tranquility, Houston. And Houston, our mission timer is now reached 902-3447 and static. Roger, copy your mission timer is now static. Get uh, say again the time. 902-3447. Roger, copy, Tranquility. That gravity aligned looked a good uh we see you recycling. Well no, I was trying to get time uh, sixteen sixty five out uh and uh somehow it proceeded on to the uh, six twenty two before I could do a uh verb thirty two enter. Uh I wanna log a time here and then I'd like to know whether you want me to proceed on the torquing angles or to uh uh Go back and uh, re-enter again before talking over. Roger, bus, stand by.
Tranquility, Houston, we'd like you to recall P-57 and run through the gravity line one more time, over. Roger, I concur with that. And Roger, uh, Tranquility, for the emission timer, two suggestions, Sec check the circuit breaker, pan 11, also uh, reset and attempt to start. That nine in the first uh, digit might have something to do with it, over. Okay, uh, we've tried both of those. The circuit breaker is in, and when I reset uh, the, uh, put it in reset, I get 9020440. When I release it, now I get 9020449. I'm going to cycle uh, the uh, circuit breaker. Roger. I cycled the circuit breaker and got all nine. And uh, it will not now reset from all nine. Roger. Tranquility, Houston, uh, we'll uh, research this problem and be back with you momentarily on the mission event time, uh, correction the mission timer. Okay. I'd say the color uh, of the the uh, local uh, surface is uh, very comparable to that we observe from orbit at this sun angle, uh, about 10 degrees uh, sun angle or that nature. It's uh, pretty much without color. It's uh, gray and uh, it's uh, very white. Uh, chalky gray as you look uh, into the zero phase line and uh, it's uh, uh, considerably darker gray uh, more like a ash ashen gray as you look out 90 degrees to the sun the uh, some of the surface uh, rocks in close here that have been uh, fractured or uh, disturbed by the uh, rocket engine plume are uh, coated uh, with this uh, light uh, gray on the outside, but where they've been broken, they display a uh, dark, very dark gray interior, and uh, it looks like uh, it could be country basalt. Roger. Tranquility, we see the now 93. Verb 34. Roger, I assume you wanted us. Roger. Tranquility, Houston, please vent fuel and ox again over its building back up. Okay, uh, Ox, go on now. Tranquility, Houston, you can open both fuel and Ox vent now, over. Okay. Uh, Houston, Tranquility, standing by for a go on uh, Ax to Pings Align and uh, a Lunar Align, over. Stand by.
Tranquility, Houston, you are a go for the Ags to Pings line and then the Lunar line, over. Roger. Tranquility, Houston, please uh, vent the fuel. It's increasing rapidly. Over. Uh, we show 30 psi in the fuel and 30 in the oxidizer. Roger. We're reading uh, somewhat different than that. Stand by. The fuel temperature is reading uh, uh, 64 and uh, in the descent and the oxidizer at de descent 2 and the oxidizer is off scale low. Descent 1 is showing uh, 61 in the fuel and 65 in the oxidizer. Roger, stand by. Tranquility, Houston, please take the fuel vent switch and hold it open, over. Okay. We're holding it open. Indicating about 24 PSI on board. Roger. Now indicating 2-0 PSI in the fuel side. Roger. And 2-2 uh, in the ox. Roger. Now indicating 1.5 PSI in both tanks. Roger. Tranquility, Houston, if you haven't uh, done so, you can release the fuel vent switch now, over. Roger.
Tranquility Houston. We have an indication that we've uh, frozen up the uh, descent uh, fuel helium heat exchanger and with some fuel trapped uh, in the line between air and the valves and it, the pressure we're looking at is increasing there, over. Roger, I understand. Tranquility Base, Houston, if you have not done so, please close both fuel and ox vents now, over. They're closed. Thank you, sir. Uh, from the surface, uh, we could not see any uh, stars uh, out out the window, but uh, out my overhead hatch, I'm uh, looking at the earth. It's big and bright, beautiful. Now, I'm both going to give a try at uh, seeing some stars through the optics. Roger, tranquility. We understand. Must be a beautiful sight. Over. We would like to point out that the uh, fuel pressure problem that has been uh, called to the attention of the crew is in the descent system. Uh, it, it is apparently downstream of the tanks uh, where a small amount of uh, fluid has been trapped in a line uh, and uh, we don't expect it to cause any problem. The line should be able to take uh, far more pressure than the fluid would exert uh, in the event that uh, there was an overpressurization. Uh, we would expect that the line would spring a small leak. Uh, the pressure would drop rapidly. Again, I would point out that we do not see this as a uh, significant problem. Columbia, Houston, uh, two minutes to LOS. You're looking great going over the hill, over. Okay, thank you. Uh, glad to hear that this is looking good. Do you have a suggested attitude for me? This one here seems all right. Stand by. Say again. Uh, disregard. Columbia, Houston, uh, you got a good attitude right there.
Uh, this is Apollo Control. We've had loss of signal now from the command module. Of course, we'll maintain constant communications uh, with the lunar module on the lunar surface. Uh, we have some uh, heart rates for Neil Armstrong during that powered descent to the lunar surface. At the time the burn was initiated, Armstrong's heart rate was 110. At uh, touchdown on the lunar surface, he had a heart rate of 156 beats per minute. And the uh, flight surgeon reports that his heart rate is now in the 90s. And we do not have biomedical data on uh, Buzz Aldrin. This is Apollo Control at uh, 103 hours, 32 minutes. We have an update on that uh, touchdown time on the lunar surface. 
Uh, this still is not the final official time, which we'll get uh, from a uh, readout of data. Uh, but the refined time is 102 hours, 45 minutes, 40 seconds, uh, which would have been 12 minutes, 36 seconds after initiating the powered descent. That was 102 hours, 45 minutes, 40 seconds for touchdown. Uh, total time of powered descent, 12 minutes, 36 seconds. And we would expect uh, those numbers to change perhaps a little bit when we get uh, final data readout. Tranquility Base, Houston, if you want me to, I can give you a hack on the emission time uh, every 30, 30 minutes, over. Tranquility, Houston. Uh, I'm counting down to uh, T3 time. If you'd like to give me a hack, we can set up an event timer over. Okay, how about uh, counting up? Uh, Roger, you want it counting up? Stand by. Tranquility, Houston on my mark, 6230, mark 6230 from uh, past PDI. Uh, what we're looking for, Charlie, is uh, time counting up to T2 that'll be equal to 60 minutes, uh, or at T3 be equal to 60 minutes of T3. Roger, we'll have it for you. Tranquility Base Houston, reset the uh, event timer to zero and on my mark at uh, 103.39.41, uh, uh, we'll give you a hack and it'll be one hour over. Roger. And we got about almost three minutes to go, Neil, over. Okay.
Tranquility Base, stand by on the event timer. Tranquility Base, Houston, on my mark, start your event timer. Five, four, three, two, one, mark. Roger, we got it. Thank you. Right, Neil.
This is Apollo Control at 103 hours, 44 minutes. Now, there will be a brief statement from Dr. Thomas Payne, NASA Administrator in the uh, Building 1 Auditorium at 4.30. Uh, we also have some updated information on the landing point. Uh, it appears that the uh, spacecraft uh, Eagle touched down at uh, point seven nine nine degrees north or just about on the lunar equator and twenty three point forty six degrees east longit uh, longitude uh, which would have put it about four miles from the targeted landing point uh, down range but we're now fifty four minutes or rather twenty seven minutes from uh, reacquisition of the command module and of course we're in constant uh, contact with the lunar module on the surface. At this point all LEM systems continue to look very good. Tranquility, Houston, uh, we see the star angle difference, looks good. Okay, that last star was uh, Navi and it uh, wasn't too well distinguishable. I can see where uh, that error could come in. I think for the uh, gravity alignment with one star, it uh, right will be quite good. Roger, stand by on the 993. Tranquility Base, Houston, uh, we'd like you to torque that, over.
Houston, this is uh, Tranquility. Do you want us to accept this uh, position? Over. Tranquility, Houston, we're looking at it. Stand by. We'd like you to pull the circuit breaker on fan 11 for the mission timer. Over. Uh, Roger, I've already done that, Charlie. Okay. Tranquility, Houston, we'd like you to reject that uh, RLS, over. Roger. And Tranquility Base, Houston, we'd like you to uh, call, after this, call Poo and give us a uh, e-memory dump. Okay, here comes the memory dump. Roger. Tranquility Base, Houston, did I copy program alarm 1106 from you, over? Uh, Roger, it's affirmative. Okay, semi. Could that by any chance uh, uh, be due to the fact that I uh, placed the update a link switch to data uh, while that was going on, over? Stand by. Hello, Tranquility Base, Houston. Uh, the uh, span guys uh, think that's conceivable. Uh, stand by. I think we want another uh, verb 74. Okay. Standing by. Hello, Tranquility Base, Houston. We'd like another verb 74. Over. Roger, here it comes. Tranquility Base, Houston, on my mark, it'll be uh, GET 103.53, mark 103.53, uh, correction 54. Roger. Hello, Tranquility. Houston, we have the limb asset pad if you're ready to go over.
Stand by. Roger, ready to copy uh, the Lemass and Pat. Rod, Tranquility, TIG, 104, This is Apollo Control at 103 hours, 57 minutes. Uh, we will be taking the release line down uh, briefly for a statement from Dr. Thomas Payne, NASA Administrator. Uh, we will be recording any further conversations with the uh, spacecraft, and uh, we'll play those back following the, uh, the statement. This is Apollo Control at 103 hours, 58 minutes.
This is Apollo Control at 104 hours, 10 minutes. Uh, we understand there's been a brief delay in the uh, statement from NASA Administrator Thomas Paine. Uh, we will catch up with the tape-recorded conversation that we've had with uh, Eagle on the lunar surface at uh, this time. Down 86, plus zero, five, three, eight. Plus all zeros. And uh, the last one was uh, zero, zero, one, two. And what's the sign of that, please? Tranquility, Houston. Uh, the delta VY is minus all zeros. The delta VZ is plus zero zero one two. Over. Roger, plus zero zero one two. Roger, good read back. Houston, Tranquility Base, the disk is yours, and uh, up link, update a link to data. Roger, thank you, Tranquility. Houston, on my mark, it will be 37 minutes to T3, over. Okay. Stand by. Mark, 37 minutes till T3. Okay, thank you. This is Houston. It's your computer. We got the load in. You can start your P-57. Roger. Thank you. Houston, Tranquility Base. Uh, does somebody down there have uh, a mic button keyed? Over. Uh, stand by. We'll check. Tranquility, Houston. Do you still hear it now? Over. No, I still hear it. Uh, it sounds like uh, somebody banging some chairs around in the back room. Uh, Roger, that's a uh, Volga that you hear uh, for the CSM to keep the noise down on the loop. Uh, maybe we got a misspin relay or something. Stand by. Okay.
This is Apollo Control Houston at uh, 104 hours uh, 31 minutes uh, now into this historic mission, Apollo 11. Uh, during uh, the uh, news conference uh, with NASA Administrator uh, Dr. Thomas Paine, uh, we had conversation uh, with both Eagle and Columbia, and uh, we'll play that tape for you now. Tranquility Base Houston on my mark, uh, 25 minutes till T3. Stand by. Mark, 25 minutes till T3. Roger, thank you, Charlie. Houston, uh, we read you about three by over. Uh, I'm on, I'm Charlie. How's it going? All right, you understand. I'm E. Charlie. Uh, Mike, be advised we have an update for you on the uh, P-22 for the limb. We estimate he landed about four miles downrange. Your T-1 times are updated, and your T-2, if you're ready to copy, over. Roger, Columbia. T1-104-3224. Two miles south. Time of closest approach is 104-3908. Tranquility Base, Houston, we copy the now 93. You can torque them over. Houston with a lat uh, latitude, longitude over two update for limb position over. Columbia, Houston over. Go ahead, Houston. Uh, Roger, Mike, we got an update on the lat longitude for the limb if you're ready to copy over. It's plus seven, correction, plus point seven niner niner for the lat, plus one one point seven three zero for the longitude over two over. Tranquility. 
Safety Base, Houston, you are stay for T3. We have some surface block data. If you're ready to copy, over. Roger, understand we're stay for T3. Uh, stand by.
Hello, Tranquility Base. Houston, you can start your power down now. Over. Roger, that's in progress. And Tranquility Base, the white team is going off now and letting the maroon team take over. We appreciate the great show. It was a beautiful job, you guys. Roger, good to have better treatment from all of you back there. Houston, Tranquility. Go, Tranquility, over. Uh, Roger, uh, our recommendation at this point is uh, planning an EVA with uh, your concurrence starting at about 8 o'clock this evening, Houston time. That is about three hours from now. Stand by. Well, we'll give you some time to think about that. Tranquility Base, uh, Houston, we thought about it. We will support it. We're go at that time. Over. Hi, Roger. Uh, you guys are getting prime uh, time TV there. I hope that little TV set works, but uh, we'll see. Right. Hello, Tranquility Base, Houston. Uh, Were your 8 o'clock Houston time uh, reference to... Uh, Opening the hatch or starting the prep for EVA at that time, over. At the uh, hatch opening. That's what we thought. Thank you much. That might be a little later than that, but uh, in other words, start the prep in about an hour or so. Houston, Columbia, copy down 49. Stand by, Columbia. Tranquility Base, Houston, uh, that's fine. We're ready to right. support you anytime, Neil, over. All right. Break. Uh, Columbia, we see the 949. Stand by. Columbia, Houston, we got the data. We'd like a verb 34. Over. All right, stand by. Watch Charlie for the next display. Roger, Columbia. Did, uh, how did uh, Tranquility look down there to you? Over. Well, the area looks smooth, but I was unable to see him. I just picked out a distinguishable crater uh, nearby and marked on it. Roger. Looks like a nice area, though. Hello, Columbia. Houston, I understand you could not see Tranquility. Uh, what were you marking on? Over. Houston, Columbia, I say again, I uh, could not see him. Uh, auto optics pointed at a spot very close to the coordinates which you gave me, so I picked out a tiny crater in that area marked on it so that I'll be able to... Uh, have repeatable data, but I was unable to see him. Roger, copy. This is Apollo Control Houston at uh, 104 hours, uh, 44 minutes. Uh, you heard that last exchange, uh, and uh, there is uh, a very strong indication uh, we might have an early EVA uh, with a hatch open uh, perhaps at 8 o'clock uh, Houston time. Uh, one other uh, item of significance, uh, the, dis the uh, pressure rise in uh, a de descent propellant uh, line uh, downstage of the tanks uh, has relieved all aspects of the mission looking very good at this time. At uh, 104 hours uh, 45 minutes uh, now into the flight of Apollo 11. Uh, this is Apollo Control Houston.
Hello, Tranquility Base. Houston, uh, on our uh, dips, uh, venting, and uh, that fuel uh, problem, our uh, heat exchanger is cleared up. But it appears that the ice is melted, and we're in good shape now. Out. Uh, Houston, uh, Tranquility is going to uh, put the track mode to slow now.
This is Apollo Control Houston at uh, 105 hours. Uh, now into the flight, Apollo 11. Uh, we expect a uh, our cap capsule communicator Owen Garriott uh, to pass along uh, data to uh, spacecraft Columbia momentarily. Uh, we're standing by for that. Meanwhile, I think uh, we should uh, discuss uh, a little further the uh, projected EVA. Our current plan is to have uh, crew members aboard the Eagle to eat and relax for a little while prior to starting EVA prep. So we won't know with certainty uh, or have a reasonable time hack until about an hour before the scheduled event. Uh, right now it looks like it could occur at uh, 8 o'clock uh, Houston time. Uh, we have conversation going now with uh, the spacecraft and we'll pick that up. Uh, this is Apollo Control Houston. Uh, we will uh, shut down the uh, line at this time and uh, turn to the news conference. At
Uh, this is Apollo Control Houston at uh, 105 hours uh, 30 minutes uh, now into the mission Apollo 11. Uh, the spacecraft Columbia now out of range uh, with Mission Control Center Houston uh, passing over the far side of the moon. As it uh, passed out of sight, uh, we read an apolloon of 63 nautical miles, a paraloon of 56 nautical miles, uh, a velocity of uh, 5,367 feet per second. We've had conversation uh, both uh, with uh, Tranquility Base and Columbia uh, during this uh, span of time. Also, uh, as we'll come up in the course of that conversation, uh, Lunar Module Pilot uh, Buzz Aldrin uh, delivers a message uh, to people uh, everywhere listening. We'll play those tapes for you now. Uh, Columbia Houston, we noticed you maneuvering very close to Gimbal Lock. I uh, suggest you move back away. Over. Yeah, I'm going around it. Uh, notice the MC auto maneuver to the pad values of roll 270, pitch 101, yaw 45. Uh, Roger, Columbia. Columbia, Houston, uh, you are unreadable. Say again, please. No disregard. Uh, Columbia, Houston, uh, several items uh, for you. Over. Ready, copy. Uh, Columbia, Houston, uh, first of all, we'd like a uh, wastewater dump to uh, 10% on the back side. Uh, secondly, it uh, does not uh, look like we're going to need any uh, plane change uh, at this time, uh, so we will uh, not be uh, uplinking a uh, new ref mat. Uh, third item, uh, I'd like all your cryo heaters to uh, auto. And uh, we're ready for a uh, battery charge, uh, battery Bravo. It'll uh, last about uh, seven hours. Uh, if you uh, should go to sleep, we'll be terminating that bat charge, but at the moment we can go ahead and start the bat charge uh, on uh, bat Bravo. And uh, final item uh, for your SMRCS uh, configuration for your uh, rest period, uh, register one for the DAP is 11111, DAP register two, zero one one zero zero. And your auto RCS select switches, quad alpha, pitch jets on only, quad bravo, all on, quad charlie and quad delta, all off. Over. Columbia, Houston, uh, we will have a state vector update for you a little later. Uh, we're not prepared with it right now. And uh, on another subject, uh, from uh, Tranquility Base, uh, they are uh, prepared to uh, begin the EVA early. Uh, they uh, expect to begin uh, depress operations in uh, about three hours at 108, approximately uh, 108 uh, GET, over.
Uh, Columbia, Houston, uh, we'd like your uh, PRD uh, readouts when possible, and uh, we've checked over your EM dump. It all looks okay. Tranquility Base, uh, Houston, over. Try it, Houston. Uh, Tranquility, Houston, uh, we'd like your PRD readout, and we have double-checked your EM dump. It all looks okay. Over. Uh, do you understand our e-memory dump was good? Uh, CDR's dosimeter is 11014. And LMP is uh, 09 or 011. Uh, Roger, Tranquility. Uh, break uh, Columbia, we would uh, like for you to uh, uh, react uh, with your uh, high gain attempt a uh, manual uh, lock on. Over. Hi, Houston, Tranquility here. Uh, the LMP's uh, readout may possibly be uh, 09 or 017. Over. Uh, Tranquility, Houston, uh, Roger, 09017 is an update on your readout. I'll let you know for sure when it goes to either uh, 12 or 18. Uh, Tranquility, uh, Houston, uh, Roger, the uh, uh, medics report your ladder reading uh, 17 uh, appears to be the correct one. Over. Roger. Columbia's on the high gain. Uh, Roger, Columbia, sounding much better now. Columbia, Houston, uh, request to and accept, and we'll uplink another state vector. Over. Roger, going to and accept. Uh, Columbia, Houston, uh, suggest you put uh, bat A on your bat relay bus. Over. Okay. Uh, Columbia, Houston, uh, we're through with your computer. You can go to block. Roger, block. Tranquility Base, Houston, over. Go ahead, Houston, Tranquility Base. Uh, Tranquility Base Houston, uh, we've uh, reviewed the uh, checklist and about the only uh, change in order to advance the EVA that we've found is that uh, uh, you'll want to delay your uh, lithium hydroxide change until uh, after the EVA uh, rather than before. Over. Roger, we just as soon uh, make a change uh, and uh, jettison the old one. Over. Uh, Tranquility Base, uh, Houston, uh, we would uh, like to delay that uh, LIO LIOH change until after the EVA. Uh, there is a possibility you could uh, jettison the uh, canister uh, when you uh, jettison your pliss. Over. All right, we'll plan it that way. Over. Uh, Roger, uh, Tranquility. Uh, Columbia, Houston, over. Houston, Columbia. Uh, Columbia, Houston, uh, we show your evap out temperature uh, running uh, low. Uh, request you go to uh, manual temperature control and uh, bring it up. Uh, you can uh, check the procedures in ECS mile 17. Over. Roger, Houston. Uh, Columbia, Houston, I have a P-22 update for you. Columbia, go ahead. Uh, Columbia, Houston, uh, your P-22 auto, auto optics, uh, landmark ID on uh, LEM T-1-106 plus 3-0 plus 3-1. T-2-106 plus 3-5 plus 4-1. Two nautical miles south. Your TCA-106 plus 3-7 plus one six, shaft angle three five seven decimal niner, and trunnion angle four four decimal three. Over. Roger, thank you. Uh, Columbia, Houston, uh, we have your LOS in uh, three minutes. Uh, AOS will be one zero six plus one one. Over. Roger. Houston, Tranquility, over. 
Tranquility, Houston, go ahead. Roger, this is the LEM pilot. I'd like to take this opportunity to ask every person listening in, whoever, wherever they may be, to pause for a moment and contemplate the events of the past few hours and to give thanks in his or her own way. Over. Roger, Tranquility Base. I was about ready to fall off. Matter of fact, it just doesn't look like it sunk in at all. Now this is Apollo Control Houston at uh, 105 hours uh, 42 minutes uh, into the flight Apollo 11. Uh, you heard uh, that statement in our uh, taped transmission uh, from uh, Lunar Module Pilot to Buzz Aldrin. Our uh, projected uh, time for extravehicular activity at this point is still very preliminary. I repeat, it could come as soon as 8 p.m. Houston time we won't know for sure about the time uh, with reasonable certainty until about an hour before the event. Meanwhile, as uh, we'll soon be progressing uh, toward man's first step on the lunar surface, uh, we have an interesting phenomena here in the Mission Control Center, Houston, something uh, we've never seen before. Our visual of the uh, lunar module, our visual display now standing still. Our velocity digitals for uh, Tranquility Base uh, now reading zero. Reverting, if we could, to the terminology of an earlier form of transportation, the railroad, what we're witnessing now is man's uh, very first trip into space uh, with a station stop along the route. At uh, 105 hours, uh, 43 minutes, uh, continuing to monitor the loop, uh, this is Apollo Control Houston.
Uh, Tranquility Base, uh, Houston, uh, we'd like some estimate of how far along you are with your eating and uh, when you may be ready to start your uh, EVA prep. Over. I think uh, that we'll be ready to uh, start EVA prep in about a half hour or so. Uh, Roger, uh, Tranquility. Uh, this is Apollo Control Houston at uh, 105 hours, uh, 51 minutes, uh, now into the flight of Apollo 11. Uh, we've only had uh, one uh, brief conversation over the past several minutes uh, with Tranquility Base, uh, Capsule Communicator Owen Gary had asked uh, when uh, Tranquility Base uh, might start its EVA prep. Uh, Neil Armstrong replied uh, about a half an hour or so. Uh, a normal timeline for uh, preparations for, for EVA would be approximately two hours. At uh, 105 hours, uh, 52 minutes, uh, now into the flight of Apollo 11, uh, this is Apollo Control, Houston. <laughs> 